On our last trip to Costa Rica, we booked an Airbnb that's the last house you can possibly stay at before arriving at the Monteverde National Park. It's pretty secluded and it's situated high up in the cloud forest. One of the perks of booking this house is that it comes with hummingbird feeders. And when you stay at this house, the hummingbirds appear to be free from fear of humans. I took this shot standing about a foot away from the feeder. Our kids even fed many of them by hand. Look, what do you think of that? During the day, countless visitors will stop by for a quick drink. And in the evening, you might spot a few fruit bats too. Costa Rica is home to more than 900 bird species. Around 50 of them are hummingbirds. What you're about to see are a variety of species that we found up in Monteverde right off the deck of this Airbnb. Many of these hummingbirds are unique to the highlands of Costa Rica. So if you're going to the beach or primarily vacationing in the lowlands, you likely won't see many of these. And just a fair warning, some of the color and detail you are about to see may make some viewers feel hypnotized. The violet saberwing is said to be the largest hummingbird found outside of South America. This bird, unmistakable, the male with its rich metallic violet hues and large white tips on the outer tail feathers. The large curved beak is also a defining characteristic. This is one of the smaller hummingbirds we saw, the magenta-throated woodstar. It never seemed to land whenever we saw it. The male is identified with a magenta-colored gorget, a white collar, and on the side of its rump is a white patch. In flight, you'll notice the tail feathers often cocked upwards. They aggressively pursue areas containing flowers with high energy nectar. While hovering and feeding, they're licking at the nectar up to 13 times per second. The male purple-throated mountain gem is striking in its coloration with a purple throat and a turquoise forecrown, and the female is simply adorable. She doesn't have the flashy colors and instead shows with cinnamon underparts. Notice the white stripe behind their eyes? They look like little beauty bandits. Like other hummingbirds, it also takes small insects as an essential source of protein. The green crowned brilliant male is also entirely sparkling emerald green, except for one small patch of blue on their throat. The female is seen with more whites in the underparts, but also has distinct short white stripes under their eyes. These green crowned brilliants are common at middle elevations. Like some hummingbirds, this species is solitary and does not stay with its mate. It's known for living in wet mountain forests, which is exactly what we see in the cloud forests of Monteverde. And finally, we will close with a look at my personal favorite, the Lesser Violeteer, a medium-sized hummingbird, all sparkly green with blue or purple cheek patches. This hummer is common in highland areas and the male and female look very similar. This species and the Mexican violeteer were conspecific and together called the green violeteer. However, new evidence points to two distinctly different regions for the Mexican violeteer and the lesser violeteer. So this hummer in Costa Rica is no longer referred to as a green violeteer, rather, the Lesser Violeteer.
So out of all these species of hypnotically colored hummingbirds we showed, which is your favorite? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching Highland Nature. <laughs>